This week, I introduced a bill with Senator Leahy, Senator from Vermont, and Senator Hatch from the state of Utah. Our bill would update America's patent laws. And we would do this in order to help spur the in innovation and the job creation that results from innovation. It's a bipartisan bill and it will be the first piece of legislation considered by the Senate Judiciary Committee in my new capacity as ranking member of that committee. The Patent Reform Act falls in line with my priorities for this Congress. Get spending under control, intervene immediately in the national debt, and provide an environment where jobs can be created. A transparent and streamlined patent system would build opportunities for the kind of innovation and entrepreneurship that have made America great. Without an updated patent system, one that keeps pace with the evolving economy, entrepreneurs have less incentive to create new technologies and ultimately enterprises that employ workers. Our patent reform legislation would establish a more objective and simple process. It would eliminate patents that shouldn't have been issued and it would allow for quicker processing of patents that should be issued. The overall bill also includes a provision I've been working on with Senator Baucus on the Senate Finance Committee. It would prevent individuals or firms from being able to get patents on tax strategy. In some instances, tax patent grant exclusive rights to use certain tax loopholes and encourage tax avoidance. Now that doesn't seem like something that we ought to be patenting. I expect the Judiciary Committee will begin consideration of the patent reform bill next Thursday during its regular business meeting. 